who you are according to the Bible. Little man, come here. What's your name, man? What is it? From his head down to his feet. Now. Watch that. Read that again. And his feet, uh -huh. like unto fine bread, uh -huh. as if they burned in a furnace. Do you know what a penny looks like? So he said his feet look like what? Fine bread, as if they burned in a furnace. You do music? You like trumpets? I like music. What color is a trumpet? It's a brass color. It's like a goldish color. Now, if I run a little bit of fire through that trumpet, it's going to turn a different color. Right. So now when he see Christ, he said he looks like brass, like a, of a trumpet, but it was burnt in the furnace. Right. When you burn something in fire, it becomes dark. Now when he see Christ, you ever see the manhole cover? Look at this manhole cover right here. See that? That's the depiction that would be of Christ. He was a dark-skinned brother. That's right. We know and his voice huh? as the sound of many waters. So people uh, people can people try to understand why do we speak so loud? Read again. And his voice as the sound of many waters. If you ever went to Niagara Falls, or you ever heard something on YouTube where, where waters waves and crashes, it's very loud. So when Christ spoke, he spoke loud. That's right. So people can hear. So five thousand plus people can hear. That's why Christ spoke loud, said his voice is the sound of many waters. Right. right that, the, so that eliminates that one on the um, right hand side of you right there. That white guy right there, that is elimination. That's right. Because he has none of the features. Right. Christ said Christ's hair looks like you and me. Right. Like wool. Like right. wool. Right. Now when you get older, your, your hair is gonna turn white too. Right. So you're gonna look just like the picture that Christ put in there. That's right. And what what's the other thing you said about 
You said something about you was confused or something like that, right? Give me, give me Isaiah 1 and 3. We'll start there real quick. Bring it up. I'm going to show you why we're confused with this captivity. What's your name again? Jamari, I'm going to show you this. You love God, right? So that's why God draw you up here because he sees something in you. Right. You're going to be a king. You're going to be a priest. You're going to learn this Bible. You know what you're going to do? You're going to stand right here and you're going to teach the masses of the people. Right. That's why you came up here because there's something in your spirit that's yearning. I want to know what's going on in my society. I want to know why am I being the last, uh, my, why is my mom going through this? Why is my father going through this? Why is my uncle and them going through this? Right. Who am I according to the Bible? And you, you, know, know, you don't know who you are. It's because of you know what? The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Go ahead. The ox knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. Uh -huh. But Israel does not know. See that? He says the ox knows his owner. You know what the ox is? It's an animal. You ever seen the, the ox? It has two oxes, right? And then they have like a horse, a buggy on the back. And it's, what is it doing? It's pulling that, that, that wagon. You ever seen that? Like a game, Oregon Trail, or something like that? So he says the ox knoweth what? The ox knoweth his master's crib. Uh -huh. And the ass, excuse me, the ox knoweth his owner. So the ox has an owner, meaning whoever owns that ox, the ox know him. So he goes, he grows and draws the ox, the ox comes to him. Go ahead. And the ass, his master's crib. You know what an ass is? It's a donkey. Right. He says the donkey know his master's crib. So if I take a donkey and I drop him off 10 miles away, the donkey going to find his way back to the back to the house. Right. Even though they call him a dumb animal. They call him an ass. Go ahead. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. So the Bible says we do not know. We don't know who we are. Look on this sign right here. What's your father? Right here. Come on this side right quick. What's your father? What do they call your father? Huh? They call him an African American, a black man. What do they call him? American black. You see all everything on the left of this sign right here? That's what God call you. Right. That's right. Everything on the right of the side, that's what all oppressors call us. That's why we confuse. Right. We don't know who we are because why? This is because God says the ox know his owner, but us, we don't consider. Right. Our people are not looking for the Bible. You a little guy, how old are you? You're 11 years old. We got people out here that's 20 years old, 30 years old, 40 years old, 50 years old. And they not even standing up here. But you want to learn. So now that you want to learn, God is going to teach you something. I'm going to show you. Stand right here. I'm going to show you something. Give me give me Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12 right quick. Then we're going to go confuse the faces. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? So God is requiring something to you. You go to, you got a uniform in school? Y'all wear uniforms? Okay, we just wear regular clothes. Okay, like, let, th let's take this for example, right? If you had to wear a certain type of attire to go to school, sometimes they have blue pants or brown pants with a blue shirt. That's a requirement to, in order to be going to that school. I like what? What's it, Winburn? They have, they have a um, school dress code? Like that. So God says he needs to require something of you. Watch this. But to fear the Lord thy God. He says to fear the Lord thy God. Do you know what it means to fear the God? Bring it out. What it means to fear him. When you fear something, right? When you fear something, let's say you're scared of, let's say, um, let's say like, uh, I've used carnal things, like a monster. I mean like, uh, what's something like, like zombies or something like that. Or uh, a fear of another another person, a bully or something like that. You're not going to mess with them. So God says you're going to fear. You got to fear. Let's get fear real quick. I'm going to show you what it means to fear God. And then we're going to go back to Deuteronomy chapter 10. What does it mean to fear God? If you fear, when well, you fear your mother. That's a better example. You fear your mom, right? You fear your dad. So your dad tell you, hey boy, go take out that trash. You're going to take out that trash, right? Because why? You fear him. So you do what he tell you to do. That's, That's right. the same thing with God. He That's said, if you right. fear me, you're going to do what I tell you to do. Right. So we're going to show you a little bit of laws. We're going to make it basic for you because you're little, you're small. But you're smart. Because you came up here, you stand up here before the prophets, and you want to learn. Well, I see right. something in these brothers that I don't see in the everyday community. That's right. Where the, where, where's my people standing up? Where's my people going to rise for the nation? You Bring see it, it right here. Bring it out. Go ahead. 
The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 120. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee. I am afraid of thy judgments. So it says he afraid of the judgments. So when your dad tell you, yo, you better clean them kit, you better clean them dishes, boy. You're gonna clean them dishes. Why? Because he's gonna give you a spanking. So just like us up here, we're afraid of the Messiah because what happened? If we don't do what he said to do, he's gonna give us a spanking. And you see the sign right here? That's how God whipped us. God whipped us with his slave mechanism. Look at this. You see this right here? Y'all see that in school, don't you? You see that? The yokes of iron of our neck? That's how God whipped us right there. Just like dad will whip you with the belt. Because why? He loves you. He wants you to do right. He says, boy, I told you to do that. You ain't do it. Now I got to whip you. So now that's what God did to us. All these things that happened to us. And you wonder why. Right. Why am I so confused? Because when they whipped you, they took away your nationality too. Right. That's right. They took away your land. They took away your heritage. They Jeez. took away the Bible from you. Right. right. And they said, hey, this is what, this what we're going to do for you. We're going to give you Christmas. You like Christmas? You love Christmas? Don't you know Christmas is a sin according to the Bible? Bring it out! You're not supposed to be celebrating Christmas. Give me that Jeremiah 10 real quick. Let's deviate. Because your mom, she like you like you like trees, you like the tree, you like the gifts, you like the bells and whistles and the star on top of it. You like that, right? When I was a little kid, I liked that too. Cause when I was little, they had this thing called Power Rangers. You ever heard that? And man, they had Power Rangers, Power Wheels. They had all Legos. They had uh, Simon. All these type of games that I was so excited to get to. When Christmas came, huh? Yeah, they have a lot of them. So our little kids love Christmas. Why? Because you can put that down. Because of our oppressor. Right. We confuse. Confusion has happened to us. They changed our God and they changed our laws around. So they say, okay, now you can go do Christmas. But now I'm going to show you, God doesn't want us doing Christmas no more. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 1. Hear ye the word. Which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So God, you see this sign right here? Look at the top part right here. What that say? Read this for me. Right here. What that say? What that say? What that what that say? What that say? I S right here. Israel. So now all these people right here are descendants of one man. Like you have a son, right? Let's say when you get older you have a son, right? Now all these 12 right here are boys, they came out of their, their father's lineage. So if you have a son, you have 12 sons, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So they make up the 12 tribes of Israel that you see today. That's right. Watch this, read on. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. So God says the Israelites are not supposed to learn the way of the heathen, meaning the other nations. Heathen just means nations, other nations. Watch this. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them, for the customs of the people are vain. So he's saying a custom, it's a tradition, something that you do. He says the custom of the other people outside of this sign right here, see that? That's your great grandfathers right there. That's your uncles and stuff right there. He says the people that not on that sign, they do things that I told them not to do. Bring it up. And for one cutteth a tree out of the forest. It says one cut off a tree. You see this tree right here? You see, let's say this was a Christmas tree, right? What they do is, they how do, how do they cut the tree down? What do they use? A what? An uh, axe. They go like this, right? Right? That's how they cut the tree down, right? Go ahead. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Good job, bro. They use an axe to cut that tree. Go ahead. They deck it with silver and with gold. So now, at Christmas time come, do you, don't your mom, she's decorate the tree with silver and gold? The little balls. You and your brother do that, right? So let's say it's this tree. Let's just say this is the tree right there, right? You put little balls and ornaments on top of it so you can make it look nice, right? Sis, where you going? Come back here. I want you right there. You gotta stand right here and hear this word. Give me a minute. Go ahead. They fasten it with nails and with a hammer. That it move not. So now they use your mom. Nowadays they use like a little tree, a tree stand, right? Go ahead. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must need be born. So God says for us not to be what? Read on. Be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. Because that's not gonna fall. 
Because why? The, it's a tree. It's dead. So we, we, we worship these things and we don't know what that means. That goes back to ancient Babylon paganism. Right. Bring it paganism. out. Paganism. That's worshiping the devils. God says don't do that. So every time you put a tree and put a tree in your house, you're worshiping a devil. Right. And you don't even know that. Right. So now what you gonna do when Christmas time comes? Are you gonna celebrate Christmas again? Next year? You gonna celebrate Christmas next year? Now that you know that, you're not going to celebrate Christmas next year. That's so if your right. mom wants to bring a tree into the house, you're going to say, Mommy, don't do that. Because why? These guys in purple and gold told me, according to the Bible, that the tree is evil. Right, right. The tree is evil. Teach. Give me John chapter 10 real quick. And we're gonna, I'm going to deal with this sister real quick. You got a flyer, little man? You got a flyer? Somebody get him a flyer. What's your name again, bro? Jamaria? I like you, bro. I want to see you, bro. You got you got some good works in you that the Lord want to use you for. I want you to, to give that flyer to your mommy. You know how to use a computer? You know how to use a computer, right? So you can look up games and Minecraft. What's the other one that these kids be doing? Fortnite. You know how to play Fortnite? Okay, now I want you to do this. I want you to go onto YouTube, right? Type in IUIC Watch and Read. IUIC, watch and read. You know what it is? It's a little cartoon depictions about our forefathers in the Bible. Right. It's going right. to teach you something. Now, all of a sudden, you're going to start learning the Bible. Right. You're going to start, then you're going to tell your little friends, hey, yo, check this out. Look what I saw this cartoon, man. This is nice, man. Oh, shoot. Now, you're going to start telling them. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to start watching it. Your sister, you got sister? Tell her. She's going to start watching. Next thing you know, what's going to happen? All oh, y'all little kids in the neighborhood are going to start watching it. That's then y'all right. going to start keeping the commandments. Then your mom going to say, what are you watching, boy? What is this? Mom, sit down and watch it for me right quick. Now, you know what's going to happen? The Lord put the spirit on your mom. Now, she's going to start watching the more heavier class, and she's going to eventually come to the school. Lord That's will. right. All right, little man? So, yes. Let me uh, come up right quick. I'm going to deal with both of y'all. All right, little bro. We love you, all right? Be good, all right? Keep these law statute commandments. Get get on that YouTube, put them watch and read, all right? right? What's your question? I know you was here first. I got you too. Oh, you didn't have no question? Okay. What's your question? I want, I want to talk to you. Like, give me a couple minutes. Okay. All right. So you don't have it. Let, look on this sign right here. Give me Numbers chapter 1, verse 18 real quick. Where you come from? What's your dad? What's your nationality of your father? Black. Okay. Do you know there's no country in the world... Nowhere in the world, entire world, there's a country called black. Right. It's not there. I look for it. If you go to a travel agent and say, hey, I want to go to the country of black, you know what you're going to tell you? Okay, Google it, because I have no idea what this thing is. So if you look on this sign right here, you say you so-called black, you're from the tribe of Judah. Right. What about you, sis? Black. Okay, so if you look on the right, left side of that, it says Judah. There's nowhere in the Bible that says black. Read that. The book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together. You see that? Sis, look, pay attention right quick. It says assemble all the congregation right here. Look, look, look on the sign, sis. Don't let nobody distract you. Read that. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their father. You know why we call ourselves a black African American? Because it says that we the we wanna read that part again, I'm sorry. And they declared their pedigrees of their families by the house of their father. Our a lot of our records got destroyed. Just as well as our heritage. A lot of our records got destroyed as well as our heritage. We can't go certain far back. Right. We're going to go back to what? Our great grandfather. Or maybe our great great grandfather. Right. So God says they declared their pedigrees. Remember, they got together and said, What tribe you from right there? I'm from the tribe of Sydney. What tribe are you from? I'm from the tribe of Natalia. What tribe are you from? I'm from the tribe of Judas. But now we don't know these things. Because why? Give me Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. I'm going to show you something. We're going to get into some law. Because y'all know today is the Sabbath day, right? Yeah. So y'all know today is the Sabbath day, right? Bring it out. Watch this. We're going to read this real quick. We're going to get into the Sabbath. Read that. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. Bring it out. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Sis, sis, y'all got to be attentive. When y'all hear the words coming out, y'all got to listen. Right. Who's over there? There's nobody over there. Yes, sir. Who's over there? 
There's nobody over there. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. See that? Y'all not listening. So God said, if you reject the knowledge, come on right here, sis. If you reject the knowledge of God, meaning the Bible, he said, I'm going to reject you. That's Read that part again. Because thou has rejected knowledge. See, y'all worry about, don't worry about whatever goes on out there. The hot dogs or whatever go on for Memorial Day. This is our memorial right here. Right. And we can prove that. Memorial Day, that hasn't done nothing for your people. Right. They don't care if your, your grandpa was in the military. Right. They don't care. You know what they care about? Andrew Jackson. What he did with the Trail of Tears. You know what the Trail of Tears is? Do y'all know what the Trail of Tears is? They took the Seminole Indians, which are right here, from the tribe of Reuben, Gad, and they pushed them into reservations far, far west of the Mississippi. Right. That's what they did to our people. Now they see them in Oklahoma and different parts over there. Took their land from them. That's the real estate mogul, a Andrew Jackson. Right, he sure. took them from their land, pushed them out, says, I'm taking over now. Jeez. This is my land. So Memorial Day don't have nothing to do with you. That's it doesn't right. have you, Ulysses S. Grant, all these, uh, Th Theodore Roosevelt, all these people, they don't care nothing about you. They don't care nothing about you. We barbecue and celebrate these things, and we don't know what we celebrate. But we got feast days in the Bible that we're supposed to be celebrating. Right. Watch this. Give me Exodus chapter 12, verse 14 real quick. Exodus chapter 12, verse 14. I'm going to show you the memorial in the Bible. You got it? Whatever your phone. The book of Exodus, chapter 12, verse 14. Bring it out. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. Now, it says, this day shall be unto you for a memorial. Right there, in Exodus right there, this is a black man, Moses, talking about this day going to be for a memorial. You know what day he talking about? Passover. Do y'all go to church? Y'all go to church? Yes or no? Did y'all pass to celebrate Passover? Do y'all pass to celebrate Passover? No, y'all probably did not. Y'all ever heard of Passover? Have you ever heard of it? You heard of it? You heard of it? You heard of it? But y'all heard about the day of Pentecost, though, right? When they always talking about Lord Jesus. Y'all heard about that, right? But before that, before Pentecost, 50 days before that, it was a Passover. Right. And we do not know that because why? These pastors are not teaching you. They want money, 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 money. Give me your money. That's what they want. They're not teaching what God requires of you. of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.